pattern prosecution can take quite a time. Um, spread out across four years in this case, but sometimes from priority filing through to grant, you can be, uh, in my portfolio, the longest running prosecution is 12 years to grant. And that's just negotiation with the patent examiner over and over again until they get it, frankly. Um, the way we tend to make our filings uh, is via a Great Britain application in the first instance. And that's called your priority filing because that gets you your priority date. And that's essentially your line in the sand saying, I invented this on this date at this time. Um, that puts you into your priority year, and this is a really important time for development of the invention. Because when you first file, you don't necessarily have to have complete data demonstrating all of the stuff that's covered in your patent. So you can file a bit speculatively, but then you're on a clock. You've got 12 months, and you've got to get all the supporting data together to support all of your patent claims within that 12 months. So the clock is ticking from your priority filing. At the 12 month time point, uh, the reason you get 12 months is because after one year, the patent authorities will expect you to make an international filing. And the way we and most of our university colleagues make an international filings these days is via the PCT system, uh, which is the Patent Cooperation Treaty. This is essentially a bit of legislation that sought to unify patent protection across Europe. Uh, so it means that when I'm prosecuting patents, I don't have to be talking to the patent office in Germany, Spain, France, Italy. I can just deal with the PCT authority and get a European-wide coverage. Once you get out to the 30-month time point, though, you do have to start dealing with the individual patent authorities in different offices. And in the move from PCT through to national phase, that's also when you start looking at really scary costs. I mean, 30K is a rough guess. If you do minimal territories, say just Europe and United States, you'll get that down lower, probably around 12,000. If you want truly global coverage, you can easily spend 50,000 quid on your national phase filings. And then finally, once your, your national examinations go through and you've done all of your negotiation with these vari various patent offices, you'll start to get grant. And grants tend to come through in dribs and drabs. Um, for some reason, New Zealand always seem to be very quick off the mark, and you tend to get your granted patent in New Zealand faster than anywhere else. Canada is completely the reverse. I get the impression that the way that can the Canadian patent office works is they don't really examine it much themselves. They wait to see what all the other patent offices say and then say, yeah, I agree with those guys. Um, so a Canadian patent will tend to be the last one that comes through in your portfolio. 